Well, it would appear. It would appear that the uh, the dead camera. <laughs> so that's the dead camera. It would appear that the dead camera uh, did function even when I had a blank screen, and it would appear that so uh, we've got pretty much everything I know I was filming uh, so that's a bit of a relief but uh, yeah sad to say goodbye to the camera there anyway uh, yeah we're, we're currently let me turn that off yeah we're currently using uh, one that I've long since given up on because it was faulty so uh, it, you know it still works to a degree uh, so that's what we're using at the moment that one will be uh, destined for the bin all right, I gave him a flea tablet yesterday. He was perfectly okay whilst we were out the whole morning, perfectly okay. I'm out of his sight for, what, three minutes? I come back down and he's gnawed himself raw on the back end again. I mean, what's, what's the answer? I don't know what the answer is. I just don't. A new owner, I think. Those. We're floating, so they're going in the compost. The rest are having a wash. You just stay there, mate. You just stay there. All right, um, I got rather more than I intended, I think, actually, with these things. Uh, so we're gonna do two, two more goes at it. I'm gonna keep those for some other time. These, I have uh, done the scoring I actually used uh, that because uh, it made short work of it. Um, so they're all scored and ready to be put in water. What I'm going to do is uh, boil them for 10 minutes. That's the plan. Boil them for 10 minutes. See if that makes any difference. Because I'm, I'm seeing different, uh, you know, different ideas on different uh, YouTube videos. And the cold water, that didn't seem to do a damn thing, did it? So let's try boiling them and uh, then probably put them in the oven. I've got the oven on and I've got, I've got, I've got to do some cooking anyway, so... Um, uh, but we're going to boil these for 10 minutes. 10 minutes on the boiling. Okay, almost instantly um, the skins have sort of pulled back. And you can see I've made crosses uh, as opposed to just a single slit this time. I've put crosses in. And uh, almost instantly the skins have pulled back a bit, so uh, interesting. Uh, also on YouTube, I've uh, seen videos suggesting that the liquid that is created when you boil them like this uh, can be beneficial health-wise, and you can make tea out of it, and blah blah blah. I'm not convinced by that. I'm not convinced by that at all. But uh, I think we'll probably throw the liquid away. Uh, who knows? Who knows? But uh, yeah, we're giving this, uh, we're going to give it another five minutes out here. And then put them in the oven. Right. That was the 10 minute boil done. Uh, it seems to have boiled off most of the. I didn't push much, much water in there, it seems to have boiled most of it off actually, or it's been absorbed by the nuts. Who knows? Who knows? It's even worth bothering putting them in the oven actually. They look uh, fairly. I think you could probably eat those right now actually. Um, we're going to put them in the oven for a short period of time. That's, yeah, that's, uh, that'll be the phone I'm not answering. Flipping heck. Okay, as I said, I watched a video that said that uh, the water, you can make tea out of it, but I haven't got the nerve to. Look at the colour of that. That looks absolutely awful. I'm not putting that in my body. <laughs> it might be good for you and all that, but no. I was going to, but no, no, no. Uh, I've just been on the phone for, how long was that? Ten minutes. And ease, 
these flipping things are looking like they're done already. They've only been in there 10 minutes. Can that be right? After part boiling them? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that phone call sort of put, put me off the, the track I was on a bit there. Yeah, we're ditching that. That looks awful. Right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. We're going to take them out. Um, it's only been, what, ten minutes? Caught an hour in the oven. But I think that's more than enough. You stay away from the oven, Bear. You stay away, mate. This is all hot and hellish here. They look overdone to me, actually. I don't know. We shall see. It's not good light in this kitchen. Now you can... Can't really tell. Uh, okay, let's keep a bit of the heat in there because we are going to be cooking later. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to put them in the tea towel. We're doing that, put them in the tea towel thing so that they're cool enough to handle. Ouch. Right, they're in the tea towel, steaming away. Uh, the tea towel is a bit damp here, and uh, we're going to leave them like that for five or ten minutes. Right, it's been <laughs> quite a while actually, it's probably cooled off quite substantially, or not actually, it's still steaming. Okay, so where are we? Ooh, -er. that looks better. Than yesterday, I think. No, it didn't. <laughs> it just fell apart. Uh, that was loaded with false promise there. Uh, well, it, it was a bit better than yesterday, I think. That's the Skin off of that one. So we'll go with this one. Oh, that's just a bit uh, more like it, isn't it? Almost. There's like two layers of skin here, so it seems. And it's the inner layer that I'm having the difficulty with now. But certainly, I think I've seen on videos that if that gets to be awkward, taking off that layer, dump it back in hot water. But um, that's more of a nut than we were getting yesterday. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of difficulty with that sort of inner skin layer. I don't even recall seeing that yesterday. Okay, we're coming back to uh, Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this is just not going too well this time. It's better than yesterday, that's for sure. At least the outer husk came off pretty quick. It's this inner bit that now is causing me an issue. Which I don't even recall seeing yesterday, as I said. I'll shut up and just get on with a bit of it. <laughs> I'll just add a bit. I'm going to eat another bit. It's edible. It is edible. Yeah, there's a, there's a very fine inner husk, it seems, you know, an inner layer here that I'm not getting off. But certainly the outer layer, look at that, comes off a treat now. That was, that's an improvement on yesterday. 
It's labour intensive this, it really is. I think what I'm going to do is just go through and take all the outer layers off and, and worry about the inner one. I could dump it back in hot water apparently. That might help with that. In fact, the bits I just ate, I think I may have eaten that inner layer. It was alright. Right, enough of the camera, let's just get on and do some of this. But right, there we have it. Uh, that's the rubbish. Um, and that appears to be all of the edible stuff. I mean, I think I've seen on YouTube videos people peeling off some of this brown here, but I've, I've eaten it and it, it, it doesn't seem to be a problem. I, I, I can't see a point in faffing about trying to peel off whatever that is. Because it's so fine and it's so much attached to the the meat of the nut. So, you know, that's the, the main cases. They came off a tree. And, I mean, look at some of these. They, they're almost proper. Uh, almost. Um, so, if that was the first time I'd ever done it, I would say that was a successful experiment. Uh, that's a lot more successful than yesterday's attempt. And I've eaten bits. And it's not bad. It's not flipping bad. Anyway, right. Uh, we'll be eating nuts. The bear will be eating himself again. I stepped out of the room for th about three minutes to set an upload going. I came back down and he gnawed himself raw again. I'm not happy with you, bear. And you know it. Not happy at all. These nuts. They are quite nice, they really are. 